exam for college mathematics, they might ask us some general questions about the concept of probability. And of course we can't be sure exactly what they're going to ask, but it's most likely that something will pop up that discusses the range of possible probabilities. So for an example, let's say we have an event X. They might ask us about this event and they would ask us perhaps to choose from a list of things that are that are actually possible. Uh, let's say that, that the first case, or case A, is that the event X can have a probability lower than zero. So can the probability of event X be less than zero? And then the second thing we could, we could talk about is can the probability of event X be greater than one? And then the third possibility is that the probability of x can be less than 1. And maybe what we'll say is that the probability that that x occurs, right, or, right, doesn't occur, is equal to 1. So let's examine these ideas right here. And I, I think my notation here is correct. Uh, the first case, probability is less than zero. Well, that's not possible um, because the range of probability for any event is greater than or equal to zero or less than or equal to one. Zero being impossible. It can't happen. So if an event can't happen, it's a zero possibility or probability of happening. We can't have a negative probability. What, what would that even mean? Um, can it be less than impossible? Well. I guess we can make a number system where that's true, and that might be kind of fun, but here in this in this case right here, zero is our lowest possible value. And when one, right, is certain, it's going to happen for sure. Definitely gonna happen. So so how can we be more than certain? And here B is out because the probability of X might be certain to happen, but is it really going to be greater than certain? What would that even mean? So the highest probability we can have is 100%. Here, I think C makes sense. Yes, it's it's possible for the probability to be less than 1. We should say, of course, also that it's it's greater than 0. It can't be anything less than 1. Uh, but but it can be something less than 1, so I'll, I'll circle that one. And here, I, I do agree that um, the probability of this event happening or not happening is certain. Either it's going to happen or it's not going to happen, one way or the other. So, for example, if I flip a, a, a coin and I said, what's the probability of getting a heads or not getting a heads? Well, the probability of getting a heads is one half. The probability of not getting a heads is a tails, and that's also one half. So, either way, this is going to happen. And this is true even for events like uh, uh, rolling a dice. So, if I said, what's the probability of rolling a one? Well, there's a one six chance that I will roll a one. But what's the probability on a, a six sided dice, standard? six-sided dice that I run a one or not a one. Well, it's absolutely going to happen, right? We're assuming that the dice is actually being rolled and, and not blowing up or, or something like that. We're saying if you roll a dice and it lands, what's the probability that it will land on a one or something else? Well, it's going to happen. It's certain. It's going to land on something. And that's kind of what this is saying right here. D is just saying, well, something will happen. Either, either the event will happen itself or something else will happen, but something's going to happen. And here I'd say that C and D are both good choices um, in describing the possible probabilities in any event X. All right, hope that helps.